I was wondering if you three stooges heard about Donald Trump and his co-conspirators being indicted under the RICO Act for election interference. Just asking because I want to know if you're scared. Because if any of you have even a modicum of intelligence, you should be. Not only that, as we all know, Fox News had to pay $787 million to Dominion for false election fraud claims. These are the two sources from where the three of you and your many willfully ignorant supporters got all this election fraud disinformation from in the first place. And now look what's happening to them. You three voted to cancel our Dominion contract based solely off the lies pushed from these entities that you yourselves then pushed onto our community, and in Kevin's case, other communities as well. Nathan Blaze takes it to three MAGA board members of Shasta County. Kevin, you seem to be very loudly and very publicly in connection with many in the upper echelons of the GOP, and I would even go so far as to speculate that you may have even had direct contact with at least one of the people included in these indictments. What are the authorities going to find on their phones or in their emails? Maybe that's why you, Kevin, decided to cancel your trip to the upcoming election fraud conspiracy seminar. Who is Kevin, you may ask? It's this man, Kevin Cry, who should likely be thrown off the council. By the way, as you all just saw on the flyer for that event, Kevin Cry and Rudy Giuliani are prominently featured. After Donald Trump, Rudy Giuliani, and Mike Lindell are behind bars for being the traitors that they are, will you three be next? As the saying goes, Crap rolls downhill, and you three are standing at the bottom with your mouths wide open. Blaze mentions the event Cry was not only attending, but was featured along with Giuliani, Steve Bannon, Lou Dobbs, white nationalist Laura Loomer, QAnon conspiracy nut Mike Flynn, indicted Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton, and more. Thanks to politicians with much more integrity than these three have, at least Shasta County's election systems are safe now. After my speech at the last meeting, which I'm sure you had to Google 90% of, you, Patrick, said, thank you, Nathan, for nothing. Well, that nothing has over 1.6 million views, and that's because I am by far not the only one who hates you for what you're attempting to not only do to this county, but this country as well. Patrick is Patrick Jones, a MAGA man through and through who cites freedom of speech for racists using the N-word in council chambers. So to you, Patrick, thank you. Thank you for your lack of self-control because it's allowed me to expose you to the nation as you truly are. A selfish, corrupt, bigoted, little coward of a man and a traitor to this community. And you, Chris. It's clear to everyone here that you're nothing more than a fluffer. Your entire position could be easily replaced by a pair of red and green lights with Patrick holding the activation button in his tiny little hands. You're literally worthless to Shasta County because your only purpose is to give Patrick Jones a second vote and everyone damn well knows it. Blaze has addressed the board featuring Jones Cry and Chris Kelstrom, the three men who have done intentional damage to the county they fired the health officer a chief executive bounced the head of the largest county department retired they can't find replacements they oppose vaccine mandates during pride month in june the majority killed a proclamation recognizing the local lgbtq community's contributions and in april of this year the board of supervisors replaced dominion voting machines with well nothing Nothing. They have no system in place. These are elections, people. And who backs this? Conservative conspiracy theorist, a wacko Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy, who has gone on the record pledging support to Shasta County. Via Danny Anguiano of The Guardian, the county's decision could have long-lasting consequences for the region and provide a framework for election deniers on how to advance their agenda across the United States, all while giving oxygen to false claims that the nation's voting technology is compromised. In a detailed piece from Sean Hubler, Jones, a man desperately craving mainstream Republicans' approval, owns a gun shop in the area. He's also the former mayor of Reading, as we discussed previously. He was backed by the very wealthy alt-right trust fund baby, Reverge Anselmo. Anselmo is one of three heirs to a billion-dollar fortune his late father made as a satellite TV pioneer. He has donated millions to MAGA candidates. He lives in Connecticut, not California. It's a story of the United States, corruption, and money in politics, yet we have an example of how to combat this. Go to your local boards. Go to the meetings. Speak up. Be a Nathan Blaze, not a Patrick Henry Jones.